In order to edit the back end of our website, first thing you need to do is enter the correct URL. Now this site isn't quite live yet, so the URL will be somewhat different. It won't have drupalgardens.com at the end. Um, but to edit the back end, you always need to log in by going slash user. Once you do that, you'll see a login page. Now you will be provided the information for your username and password. This will all be provided to you in a handover document. Once you fill in the correct information, you would go log in. Just quickly to note, if you do forget your password, you would just click here and follow the prompts. I will now log in, and it will just take a second to get us to the back end of the website. Now one thing to note before we start is if you click on the Laboistrous logo, it will always bring you back to the splash page where you can choose which part of the site you want to enter. I'm going to enter the pub side. Now first we'll go to our story. Here, if you want to edit any of this, you would click edit. It'll bring you to the basic editing page where you can just highlight or go in and type and change any of part of the story that you'd like. Then you would scroll down, hit save. Next thing is contact us page. Now there is a form for people to fill out in order to receive email. So if you want to collect this information, you would hover over this box that looks like a gear. You would click results and then a page will show up and you click download file. This will download a results file to your desktop which will provide you all the information that was provided when people signed up for this. And then to get out of here, you would just click X. Now to edit the pub menu, beers, cocktails, and wines, it's all very similar. So I'm going to go to pub menu. Now scroll down and I'd like to edit the burger section. So you want to make sure you're clicked on whichever one you'd like to edit and then click edit. Now all you need to do is click in the box, right click, row, insert row after, and then you would put in your information. You would put in what it is and you put in the price. To delete that row, you would just right click again, scroll down to row, delete row. Now as you can see, if I right click row, I can insert before or after. So it's up to you where you want to put this information. And you would just scroll down and save. And we would close out of here. And then we could go to wines. Again, it'll be very similar. You click on the wine list you want to edit. I'll do white wines, edit. You would go in right click row insert row before this time I would enter my information I'll just say white wine here and any information that goes along with it and then you would scroll down all the way to the bottom and save I'm going to delete that information though so I'm going to go in right click row delete row I won't save it because I didn't actually save it when I put in that information so I'll just go out of here now the next thing we're going to do is go to the photo gallery. Now there are just some photos in here now that we're using as placeholders until um, the actual photos are placed in. So to add a new photo you would click add media. In here you would go add file. I just have a quick file on my desktop that I'm going to grab. I'll go choose and then you have to click start upload. And then you will see that it uploaded. It'll just take a second. It'll refresh itself. And then we can scroll down and see that our new photo has been placed in. Now, if you click on this, you'll see that it goes bigger. And then you can see the photo. I made it really small. That's why it's not filling up the area. And then you can scroll through and look at the photos. We'll just close this out. Now, you scroll over this little gear image again. And you can edit the image. Or you can remove it. I'm just going to remove it. I'll be prompted to make sure I want to remove the file, and yes I do, and then again the page will refresh and we can see that that image is gone. Uh, one more thing that we're going to just look at quickly are these rotating banner images. So as you can see I can edit this, so I can edit them on each page, so I'll just go to pub menu and you can see that we can scroll through. Now I'm going to click on this little gearbox again and go configure block and then you can see all of the banner images currently in place. Now I have the option to edit what's currently there or I can delete it. I also have the option to go down and add a new image. Now I'm going to go choose banner image 
and I'm going to choose my file. Uh, you're going to need to make sure that your file is the size of 960 pixels by uh, 327. That's the correct size to fit in the allotted spot. This one isn't the correct size, but I just want to do this for um, training purposes. Now, as you can see, there's the option of adding some text. So in here, I can add a banner headline, which would be this one, and then I can add some banner text, which would be the one below. I can also choose where I want to place it on the photo. Top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right. Uh, you don't have to put any text on in order to not do that. You would just delete any of the stuff that's in here. Delete, and now no text will show up. Then we would go down and hit save. I'm not going to hit save. I'm not going to replace any of the images, but just to show you, you do have the option to add in text if you'd like to do so. Um, and that's it for now. Um, just one thing to note is pub side, dining room side are mirrors of each other. Same with the French and English side. So anything I just showed you on the pub side, very similar for the uh, dining room side. Actually, I'll just show you this quickly. Click on cocktails on the dining room side. We'll scroll down. I'd like to edit the martinis. Edit. Now this one's just set up a little differently. It's still in a table, but instead I don't need to right click if I don't want. I could just enter and type in my information and then I can go ahead and delete it. And then we would scroll down again, click save. So anything I just showed you on the pub side is very similar to uh, the dining room side and both French and English. Um, I will make a second quick video on how to um, edit monthly events and weekly specials.